Hey guys, some more sciencey, geeky space stuff. It was, it's funny because I was actually thinking about like space and all that today, but apparently, I don't know if this is actually true. Astronomers, astronomers discovered what's inside a black hole for the first time ever. Now, I don't know if that's true. So it's like taking with a grain of salt, really, because I mean, unless you can actually go inside of a fucking black hole, all we know is that things are distorted and twisted and stretched until there's nothing left. You know, you know, powerful enough that light can't escape. And, and that's if you get sucked into the black hole itself. You have the event horizon around the black hole where you get you just get stuck. So, um, but black holes could be a hologram. In fact, the entire universe could be a hologram. At least that's one part of the idea of a recent study published uh, in the journal uh, PRX Quantum. The, the study is a deeper look at what's inside a black hole, which, I mean, people have wondered about black holes are so fucking mysterious. Um, all they know is that the way the black hole is, when it, whatever goes in there, it gets stretched and distorted, uh, and eventually just gets spaghetti thinned out and just dissipates and pulled apart. Um, kind of like um, what they say, wormholes, where uh, time and space is kind of stretched and everything. Uh, at first, people were like, oh, black holes could lead to a different part of the universe or a different time. Um, but they're saying, oh, wormholes, if they exist, can do that with the way they stretch and bend time and or spend, uh, bend space, because time is just a human concept. So, but it bends space a certain way. But, uh, yeah. Uh, black hole is an attempt to under uh, better understand the idea of a holographic duality. Holographic duality is a mathematical conjecture that attempts to connect theories of particles and their interactions and the theory of gravity. It's an interesting idea, even if it sounds a little out there. I mean, people have been thinking for a while that our entire universe is basically just someone's fucking video game or something, or like it's like a Matrix type thing. Using, qu uh, using quantum computing to find out what's inside a black hole. Essentially, holographic duality posits that the theory of gravity and the theory of particles are equivalent, at least mathematically. Thus, what happens mathematically in the theory of gravity also happens in the theory of particles. For the most part, both of these theories describe different dimensions. However, gravity describes three dimensions, whereas particle theory consists of only two dimensions. The researchers hope that, uh, that probing this idea could help them understand what's inside a black hole. Enrico Rinaldi, a research scientist at the University of Michigan, focused on these two theories in a new study. In Einstein's general relativity theory, there are no particles, there's just space-time. It's true. Uh, and in the standard model of particle physics, there's no gravity. There's just particles, he says. Connecting the two different theories is a long-standing issue in, in physics, something people have been trying to do since the last century. Um, by connecting these two theories and using quantum matrix models, Rinaldi and the other members of the study were able to probe holographic duality. The idea was to, uh, <clears throat> the idea was to combine what we know about particle theory and what we know about the theory of gravity. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, if one thing doesn't give you the answer, the other thing doesn't give you the answer. Why not try putting it together? And see if that gives you the answer. Um, to probe holographic duality, the idea was combined. And a lot to start, they use simple matrix models uh, made up of blocks, uh, made up block of numbers. It's a standard framework used in quantum computers where particle theory is represented by one dimensional strings. These usually help researchers find the ground state, which Rinaldi says is important because it lets you create things from it. Um, using the models that they did, the researchers were able to describe what the gravity inside a black hole looks like. Is the universe really a hologram? Yes and no. When you think hologram, you probably think of a holographic, uh, think of holographic communicators from science fiction movies like Star Wars. 
In this case, though, what Rinaldi and his co-authors are referring to is the way that the inside of a black hole meets with the outside, because the inside of a black hole works off the theory of gravity. It is, re uh, it is represented in a 3D space as space-time moves through it. However, on the surface, the black hole uh, looks two-dimensional. I mean, from what they know and what they've said, yeah, it looks just like just a black hole. Like, it just looks like, it's kind of like when you look up at the night sky and you see the moon, and the moon just looks like a fucking 2D cutout, and it's just like, just someone stamped it up there. That's kind of like what it, even though you know the, the moon is spherical, when you look at it at night, you just see this round, like I said, it looks like someone just reaches up every night, just, just sticks it in the sky, because it just looks like a flat surface. Um... Same thing when the uh, when it's you know like a half moon or and then you look at the dark side of it. Same thing. It just looks like it's you know almost like someone took that sticker and just like started coloring black on it. It just it appears two dimensional. Um, it's really kind of next time you see the moon, look up and you're like, huh? It really does. It just looks like it's just a little sticker that someone just stamps up there every night. Um. A black hole theory of gravity and is represented in the 3D space as space time moves through it. However, on the surface, the black hole looks two dimensional. This gives a holographic look because we do not see it as a 3D object. This is because the theory of particles does not work in three dimensions. As such, some believe that the rest of the universe may work similarly. However, there's no current proof to suggest that this is actually the case. I think that's the end of it. Yeah. So a black hole is a hologram, but not a hologram. Basically, just the way uh, we can see it and the way the inside of it works. Um, but, yeah. People thought for the longest time that maybe black holes led other places, but that's been kind of disproven. Like, nothing escapes a black hole. And then you have those occasions where you have two, one black hole and another black hole, and they're just, and then just woo, one big black hole. You know, you have super massive black holes. Um, but then they start pulling in all the stars and everything around, and they have like this gorgeous look of dust and uh, debris and everything just flowing around it. Um, But, yeah, I, you know, one day, because there's plenty of black holes in just our solar system. So, who knows? Might They might say, oh, hey, yeah, let's send one of our uh, machines in there, see what happens. I mean, we already, for what they said, light can't escape it. So, I seriously doubt if we send a machine in there, it's going to fare very well. Uh, it might be, it'll be able to send back some video or um photos before it's completely torn apart but by able being able to send something in there would give us a better idea of what it actually looks like in there um i mean it doesn't matter what it's going to be made of i mean you can send in the hardest of this you know hardest of hard metals and it's gonna stretch it or you know just <laughs> so it really doesn't matter what you send in there if it's strong enough to dispel light it's going to crush anything else. So, but, you know, if you send something in there as it's getting stretched and warped and, you know, torn, hopefully it would have enough uh, power to, to send images back so you can see actually what's inside a black hole. Is it like just an image that it looks like, you know, when you're inside, does everything look the same? You know, I mean, what, what, we want to know that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, so they're trying to put these two theories of gravity and particles together, and yeah, yeah, if, if it wasn't for all the light and the, uh, the debris, the dust and stardust and all that spiraling around, yeah, it would just, like a hole, like just a black spot. It looked like a, you know, a picture almost. Like I said, next time you see the moon, go up and, you know, look at the moon when it's full. Same thing. It just looks like it's a two-dimensional, 
even though we know it's a sphere, uh, a sphere, uh, it, it just looks like a two, just the way our eyes are able to perceive it and the light. And... Come on, I don't care. But um, if it wasn't for all the stardust and all that light going around it, it would just be like a circle that we could see. But uh, yeah, it's just some more science stuff. I know you guys like when I do these. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.